Good morning. Today we're going to be using our shapes to make a house. Now, what shapes do you think of when you think of a house? What shapes do you think we would need to make a house? A lot of people think of roofs are made. We think of triangles. So if I have a triangle, I could use that for the roof. Now, what other shapes would we use? Maybe for the bottom of the house. A square. Typically, a square is a good shape for the bottom of the house. So I'm going to start making my house by gluing my square and my triangle on. I typically do my square first. Got my glue bottle doing one, two, three, four, five dots. Dot, dot, not a lot. Now you can place it like this or you can make it a tall ways. I'm going to go like right here. Push nicely. Oh, no glue seeped out. That means I didn't put too much glue on. So I had five dots on my red. One, two, three, four dots on my triangle. I'm going to make it into the roof of my house. And whoops, it went all off the edge of my page, but that's okay. All right. And now what I want you to do is to decide what other shape should make up a house or what else should be by my house? I think, what other shapes do you think should be in the house? How about a rectangle door? All of our doors are rectangle shapes. So I could color my door, maybe leave a doorknob. What else? What shapes are windows? Maybe a, oh, click, closed with that color. Maybe a square window. Maybe a rectangle chimney. I can even color that in red like my house. Decide what else you think. And then once you've added details to the house, you can add details surrounding the house. Outside, what is outside your house? Grass. What else is outside of a house? Sometimes outside of your house, I live in an apartment, so outside of my apartment there are lots of trees. So I can color a tree. animals somebody has said so maybe I can draw a butterfly or a ladybug think of what else is outside of your house and then when you're done with the outside of the house put some people in there who lives at your house so a lot of times people start drawing stick figures right so here's my person maybe I live with my sister. So there's my sister. Or maybe it's me. Am I done with that person? Hmm, now what's missing? <gasps> she doesn't have any clothes on, so make sure you take some other colors. And I gave her a shirt. Oh, that's better. Now she needs pants though, so I'm going to find a, she likes to wear jeans, so I'm going to give her blue pants. Oh, that's much better. I could even give her shoes. She's got some really cute pink shoes she likes to wear. So I just use ovals for shoes. And that's looking a lot better already. Who else lives with you? Draw other, maybe you have a cat. I want you to draw who lives at your house. All right, add lots of details. Show me what it's like outside. Is it sunny? Is it raining? Your turn to decorate your house. Get started. I'm excited to see what happens. Remember, dot, dot, not a lot. Close this when you're done. Bing! Snap your lids. Click. And... Write your name on the back. I 
There you go.